Hello. We've all done it. And we often do it without thinking. Especially thinking about what we're really saying when we say it. We've all said that something is awesome. And the view is awesome. The weather right now is awesome. And the sunset is awesome. That touchdown was awesome. My kid was awesome in that concert. Dinosaurs are awesome. And that movie was awesome. The dictionary tells us that the word awesome means awe-inspiring, wonderful, remarkable, extraordinary, magnificent. And even though those things uh, that we're talking about, we use that word awesome for, can certainly partially fit that definition because they are wonderful, and they are remarkable, or even bring awe to us. But when we say that Jesus is awesome, we're saying something different, something fuller. Uh, we're saying that he is all of those things to the fullest extent. In the song that we're listening to, we glimpse a small portion of awesome. But when we see a small portion of Jesus, we see a complete version of awesomeness. He is completely awe-inspiring. He is completely wonderful. He is completely remarkable. He is completely extraordinary. He is completely magnificent. Not in a temporary way. Not because we have an opinion of him as awesome, but because he is awesome. Now, think of those other things that we call awesome. That partial awesomeness causes us to say, those things are awesome. We take those things and try to describe them to others. We take video or picture and share those things. Sometimes we spend time to display them artistically. We paint, we make music, we do poetry. So that we can remember and we can draw others to see what we saw. We're moved to invest money and time in that thing in order to see it again and maybe even make it more impressive. We are at times even changed because of the thing that we've encountered. And those are just partially awesome things. How much more does experience the, experiencing the complete awesomeness of Jesus bring about things in us? We call him awesome in worship. We do our best to share that he is awesome with others. We display things to remind ourselves of his awesomeness that we've seen in the past. We spend time singing, doing poetry, or other artistic endeavors to honor him. We invest our time and energy to spend time and see Jesus' awesomeness again and again. And when we see Jesus is awesome, we're changed by that encounter, drawing us to become more godly in our thoughts, in our actions, in our words. Today, I want to challenge you to spend time focusing on the awesomeness of Jesus, worshiping him for this, praying and telling him how awesome you think that he is and why, and even sharing those things with others. We're going to pray and thank him right now. Jesus, thank you so much that you are the fullest extent of awesomeness. And that when we encounter you, you've changed us. We thank you and we pray that you would help us to see how awesome you are throughout this day and throughout this year um, as we go forward. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I'd love to see in the comments below of stories of Jesus and his awesomeness that you've experienced and seen. Thank you for praying along with us this week and focusing on Jesus as we start this new year.